Hi everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to mount a wireless router to your wall and hide the wires behind the wall. It's quick and easy. And remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe. It's free. Before we start, let's take a look at the tools necessary to complete this project. You'll need a drill, drill bits, a level, and a drywall saw. The supplies needed are two wall anchors with two screws. Make sure that the head of the screw will fit into the holes in the back of the router. You also need a string with a small heavy bolt on the end to fish the wires through the wall. We'll use a furniture grommet to place into the hole that's in the wall. Let's attach the wireless router to the wall above the network box. There are two holes measured at five and a quarter inches. Mark the spots on the wall and drill. Add two wall anchors and then two screws. Make sure the screws are sticking out about an eighth of an inch. The router will hang on those two screws. Hang the router on the two screws, plug in the power for the router, and we're done. Now let's cut a hole to hide the wires behind the wall. I used a furniture grommet for the hole and traced around it with a pencil, and then cut the drywall. I recommend using a drywall saw if you have one. It's much easier. When cutting the hole for the furniture grommet, less is best. You want to check frequently and see if it'll fit. If it doesn't, take out a little bit more. If you take out too much drywall, the furniture grommet will be loose. It won't be tight. Okay, let's see if it fits, and it does. Place the router back on the wall, and now it's time to drop the wires through the wall and into the network box. I used a string with a heavy bolt on the end. Once the bolt comes out at the bottom, tie a cable to the string and pull up. Easy. Do one cable at a time. It takes some patience, so take your time and go slowly. I have four ethernet cables plus the power cord for the Wi-Fi router, so it took a little bit of time. Done. Now a quick vacuum of the drywall debris, and it looks better already. Now here's the fun part. We want to make these wires look organized. So use Velcro straps or twisty ties or even zip ties to bundle the cables together. I want to thank everyone for watching. So remember to give a thumbs up and share this video, it's really important. And hit the subscribe button, it's completely free. Thanks for watching. And we're done. Yeah. 